Want to add animations to your Phaser 3 game fast? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create and play sprite animations using Phaser Editor v animation tool. No coding required. In this quick tutorial, we'll import a sprite sheet, set up our animations, and make our sprite move in just a few minutes. First, we need to add our sprite sheet to our project. From our project folder, if we click on our assets folder, in the inspector, if we click on browse files, we want to choose the sprite sheet we want to add to our project. Next, we'll want to select that asset in our Files panel. Then in the Inspector, we want to choose Import as Sprite Sheet, and we'll want to add that to an Asset Pack. Next, we need to set up our properties for our Sprite Sheet. If you open up your Asset Pack JSON file, choose the Sprite Sheet we just imported, and now we want to update our frame width and height to match the properties for our Sprite Sheet. If your Sprite Sheet has any margin or spacing, you'll want to modify those properties now, and then we can preview what our individual frames look like. Finally, save the asset pack so Phaser Editor recognizes it. Now we need to create our animations using our animation tool in Phaser Editor. Under our assets folder, let's do right click, we'll do new. Let's add a new animations file. We'll call this animations. After your file is created, we'll now be in the animation editor and we can click on add animation to add an animation to our game. Now set a unique key for your animation. Choose the sprite sheet you want to use. And then choose which frames make up that animation. We can then modify things like our frame rate and our looping options. Finally, save the animation so it can be used in our scene editor. We can then add more animations to our animations JSON file. Finally, to use our animations, we need to add our animations JSON to our asset pack file. In our files panel, if we click on our animations JSON file, in the inspector panel, choose import as animation, add that to your asset pack, now save. To use our new animations, open up the scene editor and add a sprite game object to our scene. Under our blocks built in, our texture, we'll drag in an instance of our sprite. For our sprite, let's choose our texture. Let's choose one of our frames from our sprite sheet. And now to use our animations, we need to click on our animation key button, then select our animation from our list. And then for our action, we want to do play. If we have an existing image game object, we can choose that game object, change our type, change it to sprite. And now we can choose our animation key and we'll want to play our animation. Now to make sure everything works, we want to click on our run button or start our local dev server. And if we jump over to our browser, we should see that our animations are now playing correctly when our game first starts. Let's do a quick recap. To create animations from a sprite sheet in Phaser Editor v4, you need to import a sprite sheet into your project, add that sprite sheet to your asset pack file, create a new animations JSON file and add that to your asset pack, create your animation in the animation editor, Assign that animation to a sprite game object in the scene editor, and then test the game to confirm everything's working. That's it! If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Phaser Editor tips. Let me know in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and happy coding!